Hello and welcome to this edition of Back to Basics. My name is Pastor Ben Garner. It's winter season and this time of year is a time of year where the yard is covered in snow and there's mud and the swing sets have ice dangling from them and the kids are anxiously awaiting to be outdoors and enjoy that wonderful time of year that we're looking forward to called spring. If you have children like my wife and I do, specifically young, energetic children, sleepless nights, milk flying everywhere, stepping on toys, it's a common thing within our household. The art of potty training is happening all around us. And these are just a few of the joys that my wife and I are currently experiencing as we raise our children. And we understand that our children are a blessing from the Lord. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 127, verse 3 through 5, Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. They are the fruit and the womb of a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the children of one's youth. Blessed is the man who fills his quiver full of them, and he shall not be put to shame when he speaks with his enemies in the gate. As a building block to society, each family is meant to nurture and to train the succeeding generation. The family is designed to shape our children's character, their psychological development, their intellectual development, their emotional and their spiritual growth. And this important factor in the life of your child is not to be performed or conducted by outside institutions such as the church or such as the school, but rather it is to be performed within the four walls of your home. Stay tuned. After the break, we will take a look at some parenting goals. Love is a smile, a laugh, a tear. Love is sharing kindness, thoughtfulness. Love is monthly, weekly, daily. Send your love today. Akiko's Floral Arts. Share the love. Welcome back. Parents, I'm speaking directly to you. What do you want for your children? Safety, food in their bellies, clothes on their back, a roof over their heads, but not specifically thinking of items or things. What kind of adult or human being do you want them to become? What sort of goals and objectives do you need to put in place, so to speak, for this to happen so that it doesn't become a hit or miss affair? What are you currently doing to accomplish these goals in the life of your children? As parents, we should want to present our children to the Lord who is their creator, as people who will love and serve Him and glorify Him with their lives. And we don't have all of the answers. We know that we are not perfect parents, nor will we ever be. But we do have biblical principles found in the Word of God. And to raise them and to discipline them in the instruction of the Lord, as it says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4. God has given these things and these children as a gift and a blessing and they are placed under our care on loan for us for approximately 18 years, so to speak, or as long as they are under our roofs. We have been given the task to raise them, to train them, not for dependence on us, to independence, to a point that they can be released into the God-glorifying service that they were called to do. Parents, God knew that raising children was going to be a difficult task. And He has given us His Word, which is the Bible, to read and to instruct our children. Through reading His Word, we know that God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to live into the world, to save the world, and to die for our sins. And whoever puts their faith and their hope in Him have eternal life. Parents, your children are a blessing, and they are a gift. Be intentional with them, love them well, and point them to their Creator God. Thank you for tuning in to Back to Basics. Hi, I'm Julian. And I'm Anya. People come to us for puzzles, Pennsylvania wooden toys, art kits, and games, but mostly for shared experiences. We sell games because when people share an experience, it builds relationships and builds community. So come in for a board game, and whether you end up settling Catan, growing a forest, or building train lines, you will end up telling a story together. One you may never forget. forget. 